Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Happy Thursday. This is our second live of the day. I went live this morning. If you guys didn't see that, we did a live haul, a live thrift haul of the things that I got from yesterday's thrifting video. And it was so good. Like, that was such a great trip to the thrift. I found so many goodies. I'm already washing up all of the dinnerware and stuff that I got. And I think we're going to use it for my mom's friends um, are coming from, I think they're currently here in the U.S., but they're about to go back to the Philippines. They're visiting the U.S. right now. They're going to visit our house next week. And we're going to have like a little dinner party for them. It's going to be awesome. And I think we're going to use that dinnerware. So I'm going to do like a table setting or something with them so that'll be pretty fun and i'll try and record that so hopefully um that'll be up sometime next week or the week after and i'm gonna do something like i think i'm gonna do like a winter thing i think like a winter setup if i can get all of my winter decor in time i don't know i'm like i'm i'm behind this year <laughs> with the decor but it's all good why is stop listening oh my gosh she can't stop she's going crazy hey purple rain hey trip how's it going oh well i hope you're having a good time a good day at work purple rain Hey, Lady Badger, that's Sean and Kendall right there. Hi, Sean, how's it going? I love your little badger icon, that's so cute. Okay. Um, oh, today, if you came, uh, if you were there this morning, this is one of the things that I got. This is a Cole Haan pouch. This is uh, today's giveaway. So it's a Cole Haan leather pouch. It's a woven leather on one side. The other side is just a regular pebbled leather gold hardware. It has like a little um, wristlet right here. And interior is just like a black fabric. But that's today's giveaway. Oh, help me think of a question for the giveaway. I don't have anything ready here. Um, I'll get me, let me get the link for the giveaway really quickly. Am I like slow right now in the thing? Adrian? I keep thinking that it's already 2024. No, am I like, is it lagging the video or is it okay? Ooh, favorite Christmas. Did we do that one or one? Oh, Tanya, it's this. It's a Cole Haan leather pouch. Oh, Cecilia, I'm glad you liked it. Yvette, oh, that's weird. Yeah, there's like a lag on my video too. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it. But um, let's think of a question first. That way you guys can do that. Let's do that. Favorite Christmas movie. Let's do a favorite Christmas movie. Let's do that. You leave your answer in the comments of the video right here. And I'm going to reset this app and see if that's the reason why we're going a little slow. Let's see. I'll be right back. Leave your answer to the uh, question and we're going to start in just a second. Okay, I am back. I hope it's working better now, but I feel like it's still doing it. I don't know what it is. Is it better now? Why 
Was it doing it earlier when I was doing the live? Yeah, like I like I'm moving in slow motion. A bug is attacking me. Is it like NPC? I don't know. We'll just continue. If it gets too crazy, then we'll figure it out from there. But I think it'll be fine. Right? It's like not too not too bad, I think. Uh what else was I gonna tell you guys? Um I don't remember. <laughs> My brain stopped working. Um but oh yeah, but if you were there this morning during the live um haul video, thank you so much. And if you like those, like please let me know because I could I could definitely um, I can definitely do more of those if you guys like that live haul. It was kind of fun being able to, like, show you guys in real time what I found. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Is it still, like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's my, I don't think it's my computer. And I don't know if it's the app, but I think it's fine, right? Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a lot of people are doing lives or something. YouTube is like, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway. Let's get started then. Uh, I think it's fine. No, I can see myself lagging like in the thing. Well, I, I already knew that's why I asked you because I could tell. I'm on the fast internet. That's not it. If it's too annoying, we can just um, cancel the live for right now and then come back another time. But I think it'll be okay. I don't want to just keep fidgeting with it because it'll probably just make it worse. My crazy guinea fowl has once again perched in a tree for the night. She wants to be a hen dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> Robin. Wait, do you, is that like a pet um, animal that you have? Or is it just like one that like lives around there? Yeah, if you guys can say hi in the chat and let me know how it's going. That would be awesome. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, please. It always helps the channel immensely. Okay, I feel like I need a new computer. Maybe it's time to get a new computer. Hi, Pauline. How are you? Is the sound okay, though, at least? Angela, you're from South Carolina? Nice. Welcome to the live, everyone. How's work today, Sean? Okay, we're just gonna continue then. Um, let's start. Let me see what I, oh, let me start off with this since I have this right here. Uh, I showed this during the live this morning. It's a brand called Berenice. 
So this is the total leather on this it is so nice. And it has all of these really beautiful studs on the sides of the bag. And the sides also unzip to expand the bag a little bit. And it does have a magnetic snap at the top as well. And the leather is very, very nice. It reminds you of like a leaf skinned or like a, a, like a Balenciaga type leather, except it is a thicker leather. So probably leaning more towards like a leap skin style. But look at those studs on the side. They're really, really beautiful. Hi, Cecilia. And it has silver hardware. It's in great shape. It does have little feet on the bottom. And the leather is so like squishy. Like it's super duper soft. And the interior, it does have a quite a few compartments. So there's a zipper pocket right there. There's another like open card pocket style underneath it and on the other side it has two more compartments and it just has a black fabric lining and it's in great shape okay very very tight control I'll show you that oh that's so cool Robin you also have chickens do they lay eggs and stuff uh, my mom and I want a chicken coop, but we can't have one in our neighborhood. Okay, this is number one. This is our black leather. Berenice tote bag with silver hardware. And this is... We're gonna do this one for $35. That's gonna be item number one. For our Berenice bag. Ah, uh, thanks, Angela. Oh, congratulations, you guys. you. Yeah, if I do more like live hauls, mom will definitely be in them. She would, she doesn't mind. It's kind of fun doing them in the living room. I forgot that the boys were going to come home early today. And I was like, oh, here they are. I was already setting up when I remembered that today was Thursday. All right, our next item is this great black leather Kuba satchel. I love the hardware on here, like this chunky hardware on the this top flap for like pocket in the front is really cool. And then it also has like this chunky hardware on the sides as well. Um, the top handle, it is long enough to carry on your shoulder even though I'm, like if I'm wearing like a thicker sweater, it still sits really nicely. And it does zip all the way across the top. Inside is in a brown fabric lining. It does have some slight like wear like around the top where the zipper is. Like some slight discoloration. Nothing crazy though. No, um, I don't think there's any pen marks or anything actually inside of this one. There's a zipper pocket inside. Two open pockets as well as a key fob. Uh, Robin, no. This is just a regular black leather it's not patent actually is it dark brown hold on no it's black <laughs> you know i thought it was like a dark brown for a second okay so this is um number two our black kuba Shoulder bag with brass hardware. Okay, and this is... We're going to do this one for um, $30. This is going to be number two. All right, next up, 
Number three. What happened, Adrian? Uh, all right, all right, next up is another um, Kuba. This is another Kuba bag. And this one is really cute. It kind of looks like a, almost like a lunch pail style bag. It's square in shape. This one has gold hardware. It has little buckle details on the side. There's a back zipper pocket right there as well. And then it does zip across the top and the inside is actually in pretty good shape there's the interior there's just one zipper pocket in the back oh yeah it did hot i'm sorry i thought you were in here this is number two here's the bottom of our kuba It's pretty cute, especially once you get like stuff inside of here. It's gonna like sit really cute. Okay, this is our black Kuba satchel with gold hardware. Oh, you're driving. Oh, I'm sorry, Hana. And this one we're also gonna do for thirty dollars. It's gonna be item number three. Our black Kuba. Satchel and that one's with gold hardware Okay, next I have Okay, this is a Kurt Geiger Michelle peoples were you calling um, that was number three for that, for this guy, just let me uh, know that you're you, that you want this one, and then it'll be yours. That one's still available. This is a yellow Kurt Geiger um, satchel. Up next, it's quilted. It does have some slight rubbing on the corners. All right, Michelle, that one is yours. Congratulations. <laughs> Getting our Kuba bag. All right. I did, Deborah. It was the smaller size. I had the smaller. Um, that one sold. I, I think it sold. Yeah, I think that one sold already. So I just have this. Uh, this is the larger version of that bag. And this one has the convertible straps. So this one you can wear as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. It has chain and then it ends in the leather on both sides. Uh, it also does have the same tonal hardware right there. It's a really, really cute bag. It does have some light wear on the hardware from just like regular usage. It has a, mag it has a magnetic top flap. And then you open it up. There's two compartments, and there's a pocket back there. It's nice and clean on the inside, and super soft leather from Kurt Geiger. There's the bottom, and there's the back. And this is going to be number four, I believe. Yellow Kurt Geiger. Um, no, it's more like a. That's like a mustardy. No, I guess it's like a chartreusey yellow. It's like a greenish yellow. It definitely has like a green undertone. And this is going to be... How much fader is this one? We have... It's like a chartreuse yellow. It has like... It definitely has like that those greenish undertones for sure. What would you say, Adrian? Okay, we're doing this one for $80. It's going to be number four. Uh, 
up. We have number five. Okay, I have this. Okay, I still have this beautiful Michael Kors. This is a Michael Kors collection bag, and this one's made in Italy. It is just, it just reminds me of the Celine Nano, and it is such a beautiful bag in this amazing gray pebbled leather, and then black contrasting leather, which is more smooth in texture, so you have that uh, contrast as well. It has silver hardware. We have the little tag right here. One side's metal, and one side is leather. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. It does zip all the way across the top. And the inside is lined in, in suede leather. And it has one zipper pocket and one open pocket. And it's nice and clean on the inside. It also does have feet, which is fantastic. Um, the bag is in really great shape. It just has um, a little bit of wear on the hardware, primarily on the hardware of the feet. Just some light marks from use. Otherwise, the leather is in fantastic condition. The inside is nice and clean, and it is a beautiful bag. All the corners are also really nice as well. And this is number five, our Michael Kors collection gray and black leather satchel with silver hardware made in Italy. And this guy... We're gonna do this one for. We're gonna do this one for sixty dollars, six zero. That's gonna be number five. And six is next. Okay, this is a vintage Dooney and Burke. This is made in USA. It definitely has wear on the leather, it, on both the all-weather leather and then also like this bridle, bridle leather. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I feel like it does have a lot of life left still. It's missing also the original hang tag. Um, the inside, though, is in pretty decent condition. It's like nice and clean. Um, there are some pen marks, though, inside the zipper pocket, as you can see right there. And here is... The, oh, let me remove this, because I don't want it to get anything on the leather. Here's the little Made in USA tag right there. Um, the other pocket does also have some slight discoloration and there's a little bit of wear right there on the leather from where it the little um snap is right there for the closure and a zipper does work well for both the interior zipper and then the exterior zipper is in good shape for both so this is oh and here are all the corners too there's definitely like rubbing on the corners there. And this is going to be how much we for this guy? Okay, this is going to be our vintage um, cream all leather, leather, Dooney and Burke satchel for crossbody. And we're going to do this one for just $20. Again, it does have a good amount of wear, but it still has a lot of life left. That's number six for just $20. Next up, we have number seven. Also, there's like no like holes or anything in the, in any of the, um, like the piping on the sides. It just, it just has like color issues. Oh, Tanya's calling it. Congratulations, Tanya. Yeah! Oh, 
Okay, um, next up is number seven. And let's do this guy. This one is a Madewell cross body bag in this beautiful golden tan brown woven leather. On the front, it has two like open pockets. And I think cell phone will fit. Oh yeah, cell phone fits perfectly. Like that just sits inside there really nicely. And then the main compartment um, zips. There's the inside. I think I showed this during the live. It does have like a little Sharpie pen mark right there. Not very noticeable because it is on black fabric. Um, otherwise though, the bag is in great shape. All the corners are really nice. There's no discoloration on the exterior leather at all. You can actually also remove the crossbody strap and then just use this as a clutch also. So it's nice and versatile in that way. Zipper works really well. This is number seven. And this is gonna be, let's do this one for $35. Number seven. Are made well. Next up, we got number eight. I have a little coach bag. This is just a little coach wristlet in pink leather. This one is brand new with tags, silver hardware, a little wristlet. Inside, nice and clean. Still has the original tag right here along with the original hand tag. And then this one has silver hardware. This is number eight. Our pink leather coach wristlet. Silver hardware, new with tags. And this one is gonna be. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $25, you guys. That's gonna be number eight. $25. This is new with tags. Perfect little stocking stuffer. That's number eight. Okay, next up, we have number nine. And for number nine, I have, this is a pair of Tiffany & Co. sunglasses. It has the pink frames, light gold hardware, still has the original tag on it too. And it has these jeweled, Oh, Robin, thank you. Um, I want to do another home goods sale. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to um, package and ship everything out like in a timely manner because <laughs> Vadrian doesn't do any of the shipping for any of the home goods. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to like wrap everything and like ship them out. But I don't know. I'll try to, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to have enough time to do it. Um, that might be like a new year, like a January thing. Um, it has little crystals on the sides, but I'll try and see if I can do like some other like smaller things. But I don't know if I can do um, too much right now. One of the little arms is missing. There's like a little cap on this part right here. It, it looks like this. See how there's like this little metal part right here? 
it has it's missing on this other side and that's the only flaw of the sunglasses otherwise they're in perfect condition they're super cute look like that and these oh for sure tanya um i'll get vadrian this bag um this weekend and then we should have the shipping for you by the end of the weekend Okay, this is our Tiffany and Co. pink sunglasses with light gold hardware. And this is how much, Friedland? Okay, we're going to do this one for $75. That's going to be number nine. You might be able to get like the little attachment piece from like a Tiffany and Co. or. Um, even like a sunglass hut or even a like a department store because they'll, they'll carry like extra pieces like that sometimes. Okay, so that's number nine. Our Tiffany and Co. sunglasses. Next up, we have number... Oh, Vadrian, did I tell you that my mom bought those Gucci sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She really liked them, so she ended up buying them. No, I thought it was her friend that wanted them. My mom sent me... Okay, and also, it was my mom that took that picture. <laughs> I was crying. I was like, who? which one of your friends sent you that? And I was like, were you like at TJ Maxx or something? Or was it at TJ Maxx? And she was like, no, it was inside Nordstrom Rack. And I was like, why does it look like a TJ Maxx inside of there? Huh? Oh, so I, uh, my mom the other day, she sent me a photo of, like, a lady standing in line, and she was wearing, like, these fabulous, like, Gucci sunglasses, and then my mom was like, um, she's like, find out what, can you find out what these are? And then I was like, oh, like, because this is something that her friends do, like, all the time, like, they'll send her photos to send to me to ask me, like, what something is or if I can find it. And I was like, oh, which one of your friends sent you that? And I was, like, trying to guess. And it turns out she was the one that sent me the photo. Because I thought that she, like, sc took a screen grab of a photo that her friend sent her. But it was, like, she, like, took a picture. She zoomed in on her own photo. And then she took a screen grab of it and then sent it to me. And that's why I thought it was a screen, bra screen grab of another photo. And, yeah. And then I found it. And then she ended up buying them online. And they were on sale. I think they were, like... How much off were they, Vadrian? Like, maybe, like, 40% off? 30% off? They were, like, on the Gucci website still, but at the Sunglass Hut, they happened to be on sale. So that was excellent. And that was, like, on... Was that, like, Cyber Monday? Maybe they were having, like, a Cyber Monday sale at Sunglass Hut or something. But, yeah. So she's excited. I can't wait for those sunglasses to come in. <laughs> they have, like, um like, jewels on the side. They're, like, sparkly. They're, like, a black square sunglass. Wait, I wonder if I still have the photo. Oh, you guys don't care. I'm, like, super into telling this. <laughs> that was about the sunglasses. This is next. This is number 11. This is a Kate Spade quilted flat bag in a light blue leather with light gold hardware. This one is in great condition. There's a pocket right here in the back and a little turn lock here in the front. This opens up and then in the inside it just has three built-in card slots. This is in really, really great condition. The only wear really seen on the bag is around the little turn lock right here just from when you turn it. And otherwise the, the leather is ex excellent condition. The inside is super clean. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable and it's just the cutest little bag. And this is going to be number 10. <laughs> you guys want... Okay, I'll hold on. I'll see if I can find the photo of what the sunglasses are. Uh, blue quilted Kate Spade flat bag with gold hardware. And this one's how much for for this guy while I look up the photo. Patreon, bless you. Patreon's having a sneeze attack. Okay, this one is just $45 for Arcade Spade. Again, wonderful condition. Super cute bag. This is a newer style as well. And that's number 10. 
Okay, and here are the photos. I'm going to send them to myself. Okay, here to me. That's how they look on the front. They're like a like a nice square sunglass in black. And then here's how they look on the side. There you go. Nice and large. And the little like Gucci spelled out and like um in like little jewels, which I think is her favorite part. She loves a jewel. Right, Robin? My mom is partial to like a square sunglass. Alright, so that's number 10. Next up is This little coach, I showed this one earlier. Uh, this is a little blue coach flap bag. Now, there is some wear on the back. There's like some color loss and rubbing like right there. And a little bit of rubbing right here up top as well. For the crossbody strap, some of the studs are missing. I think seven, seven of the studs are missing. There's... Two missing ones right there, another missing one right there, another there, and then some more along the bottom. You can definitely just change out the strap, use something else, or just use it as is. It's not like super noticeable, but some of the some of the studs are missing. It's lined in leather on the inside. It's like this golden tan brown leather. Little snap right here, and then there's two compartments, and then there's a open pocket here in the back. Again, the entirety of the interior is lined in this leather, which is really, really nice. And, yeah, glove tan leather. It's a nice blue color. It's like a bluish, it's a grayish blue. And there's the back. And there is some wear on the hardware as well. Like, this was a, a well-loved bag, but it has a lot of life left. So this is 11. Our blue gray leather coach flap bag. I think it might be, yeah, I think it is one of, like, the 1941 collection. Okay, we're going to do this one for $45. I think... It still has a lot of life left, and in the right hands, it can get this looking beautiful again. And you can always just get like a pick up another strap too at Coach. Um, not necessarily the same color, but you can do like an all chain one would be really cute because it is a smaller bag, so a chain one would be really fun and would amp up the look as well. So that's number eleven. Yeah, blue steel. <laughs> I like the name. Oh, sister of a dad's calling it. Congratulations. Coach, oh! flat bag is going to you. It reminds me of uh, what's that movie? Zoolander. Aren't they gonna make a new one? I think they are, huh? Or am I making that up? Wait, what, did anyone watch uh, watch the new episodes of Squid Games? Anyone? Did anyone watch the next? Like, they released four more episodes, and the last episode is coming out, like, in December, like, just in, like, a week, I think. Like, December 8th or something. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, crying. Like, top, like, I, like, yes, it's so good. Okay, 12 is next, and let's do Huh? Oh, I'm not spoiling it, Sister of a Down, but it's gonna go down 
It's like it's gonna show who the last three people are, and then the next episode is coming out in December, like a week from tomorrow, I think. And it is very exciting. I cannot believe what happened. I was I was on the edge of my seat like the whole time. <laughs> I'm so excited. It makes me want to watch like the Squid Games like TV show all over again, like the regular one. It is so good. I'm gonna make Vadrian watch it because Vadrian hasn't watched the actual movie, like the actual show. But watch it, like, Vadrian's watched the game show, and they're obsessed. And I'm like, well, you gotta watch the regular show. It's so good. Okay, um, this is our Burberry note bag. Again, this used to have a ton of pen marks on this fabric panel here in the front, which actually happens to be a pocket. We were able to remove the pen marks there, but there are pen marks still on the inside, so... There are pen marks in the interior. There is one pocket right there as well. Um, I was able to lighten them a lot, but there are still definitely pen marks. You can see them on the corner, some right there. I don't know what happened inside of this poor bag, but it, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, it, there is also color loss on the hardware. Some of the silver is coming through. It's supposed to be gold. And it does have like some marks on the leather. You can see one just like right there. Wait, where'd it go? Right there, across the front. Um, but such a beautiful bag. This is a $1,500 bag. It's still available on the Burberry website, full price. And it's a really great size. You can remove the crossbody strap as well. It's fabric and leather. And you can attach a different strap to it or use this one on something else. This is a good camera strap too. And this is going to be item number six number 12 our burberry notes oh and it's in black leather this is black pebbled leather gold hardware and this one is like what's the best deal we can do okay we're gonna do this one for 375 this is our Christmas deal number 12 375 for our Burberry note original retail is 1500 on this one look at that she's a beauty I wonder if I could buff out that scratch I feel like I could okay so that's number 12 then we have luck at number 13. Four thirteen. It's cute, right, Sean? It's funny not seeing Lady Badger. I'm just like so used to seeing Lady Badger during the lives. Um, Robin. Uh, there's like electroplating, but you have to remove the hardware to do that. Um, I've always wanted to try like a rub and buff like product like you use on hardware for like um, doors and stuff. But I don't know if like it'll be like a good color match. I feel like those colors that they have are usually a lot more like um, saturated, I think would be the word. So, I have no clue, Robin. The only thing I can think of is electroplating, but that's, like, um, a lot of work. <laughs> I've never electroplated anything before. Though, it would be fun to try. I know people get, like, vintage Chanel bags that have, like, the gold plating on the hardware. They get that electroplated and it looks amazing, like but with that like with actual gold. That that's really cool. Okay, I still have this amazing to me briefcase laptop bag, all black leather, gunmetal hardware. This is in excellent condition. 
has like this sleeve or like pocket right here so you can put it on your luggage and crossbody strap is made of like a nylon fabric and it has um a leather shoulder strap piece like a cushion it is removable and adjustable tons of compartments a dedicated back laptop um, pocket and it's protected with padding and there's a front zipper with even more compartments inside it has like the striped lining super clean inside and out it does have these little feet as well little leather feet this is number 13 our black to me laptop briefcase bag with gunmetal hardware and this is $85 that's gonna be number 13 14 Oh, I forgot about this. We also still have our Chanel. Hi, Kimberly. How's it going? This is our Chanel um, silver lambskin chevron quilted pouch. It's kind of like a double pouch, but it only has one zipper across the top. And then there's a dividing middle zipper pocket right there lined in leather. And then you have a pocket here in the back. And then you got some card slots right there. This is an excellent condition. There's just like two little call outs. There's like a little um, dark mark right there. And then there's a little smudge right there. Can you see it? It's kind of hard to see, but it's like right there by where my finger is. You came right at the right time, Kimberly. I'm showing this gorgeous Chanel. And this is going to be item number 14, our silver metallic leather Chanel chevron quilted pouch with silver hardware. And this is $500. We discounted that one from $550. That's number 14. She's gorgeous. I love the metallic leather too. It's really, really pretty. She shines and she glows. Next up, we got 15. Hi, J Sweet. How's it going? Oh, I still have this guy, too. This is a little coach crossbody bag. This is kind of like a... It's kind of like a phone bag slash wallet on a chain. And it's a, a numer it has numerous bags in one. So it comes with this little removable... A card coin case right here so this actually like it fully comes off and then you can just use it by itself as like a little charm or a little wristlet so you can wear it um, kind of like this and just like wrap it around your, or your wrist like that or carry like a little handbag like this or you can put it on another bag as like a little charm there is a back pocket right here. And then it also has another pocket in the front and then in the main compartment. This will fit um, credit cards, if it's AirPods, if it's like a chapstick. So it actually fits like a good amount inside. And then it also serves as like a little charm for the bag. And then the bag, you can use it without this charm. You can just use it without it. You can take it all off and then just use it as a wallet or a clutch. It has three built-in card slots uh, inside there. And then it does also hold a cell phone here in this front compartment as well. So my cell phone does fit inside perfectly, right inside of there. And I just love that you can wear it with this little charm thing. I like that, it's super duper cute. You can wear it like that. It's 
It's a really fun bag. And this is number 15. Our coach monogram coded canvas wallet on chain phone bag with a removable charm and brass hardware. And this is in like new condition. How much are we doing this one for, Veteran? Okay, we're gonna do this for $85. We're gonna discount it by $10. We had it at $95. We're gonna do it for $85. It's gonna be number 15. Hey, Finding Solace. Oh, okay, um, let me check really quick, Kimberly. Were you calling number five? Oh yeah, Kimberly, we can totally do that. Um, I'll explain how to do it in when we send you the invoice, but yeah, that's totally cool. But this is item number um 15. But you're calling our Michael Kors. So congratulations. That was <laughs> okay. Next up, we got number 16. And oh, I still have this beauty right here. I still have this Kurt Geiger. This is that extra large leather tote. And this one is in this beautiful croc embossed leather. This is made in Italy, has nice long shoulder straps. The only bummer is that it doesn't zip across the top. It's just all open. There's no closures or anything. It's unlined on the inside. It just has one zipper pocket right there in the interior. And that's it. Here's the bottom. Here's the back. And then there's Kurt Geiger made in Italy in gold on the front. And this is number... 16 black croc embossed leather Kurt Geiger tote with gold hardware made in Italy and this is isn't she beautiful we're going to do this one for 85. We're going to do a little discount on this one too. And that's going to be number 16. Next is 17. I have this coach crossbody bag. And this is a double zip. It has black, um, it's black pebbled leather, and then it has gunmetal hardware. It has these little studs that go around, and the back zipper compartment has two built-in card slots, and the front has one interior pocket. Right, Rob? Right, they do. Especially the Made in Italy bags, their leathers are really, really nice that they use over there. It also does have the original little hang tag, which is going to be right there on the side. Crossbody strap also is adjustable. It's just a cute little bag. This will also fit the largest iPhone inside of here as well. So that fits inside beautifully. Right inside of there. And this is number 17, black coach, uh, leather studded, mini double zip. Cross body bag with gunmetal hardware. And this is. 
Okay, this one's $50. It's going to be number 17. Next up, we have 18. This is our Fendi mini um, bag in this really nice light blue color with silver hardware. There's like the little Fendi embroidered like fabric on the back, it's like a woven fabric. There is some discoloration around like the some of the corners. I believe it's actually from like the glue when they put the bag together. Because it's like literally like in like on the seams of the bag. Um but there is a little front pocket right here, which is super cute. And then has a little snap right here, opens up, then you have a little drawstring, and you have one pocket inside of there, and the Fendi tag is right inside. It's hard to see. It's right inside of there. And this is made out of like um like a hundred percent recycled or recyclable material. Yeah, it's like a no waste recycled um material that this is made of, which I think is really, really cool. And the straps, you could wear this as a crossbody like this, or you can do a single kind of like body bag style. You just have to switch up where it's connected. And then you can wear it like a body bag like that, which I think is really sharp. And this is number 18. This is our Fendi mini body bag in light blue with silver hardware. And this is, like, look how cute this is. Wait, how much do you say? Okay, this one is $375, you guys. A really, really good price. I, I feel like this bag, like, the resale is usually around, like, $800-ish. Or more. And that's number 18 for just $375 for a Fendi. And this is a new style, too. Like, the body bag style. Very cool. Next up, we got number 19. This is kind of like a vibe with my outfit right now, actually. It's actually really cute. Am I going to start using it? Then I'm not going to want to sell it anymore. I just noticed that, like, the hardware has, like, the hardware is, like, an ombre blue to silver. It's not showing up that well on camera, but it's, like, it goes from blue to silver. It's, like, a gradient, like an ombre. It's really cool. Okay, next is Ooh, the Puffy Feel 22 bag. Ah. Uh, so cute. This is a Kate Spade. And this is a, like, a tote bag. It does also have the longer strap, so you can carry it on your shoulders. There's two front pockets right there. And then the inside is in this insane, like, glazed patent green leather. And there's a zipper pocket, then an open pocket on the inside. And it does have a little snap here at the top to close it. You can see that green lining too inside the pockets, and the pockets are perfect for your cell phone also. And this has um, silver, light gold has light gold, light gold hardware, and it just has a little bit of damage right here to the edge coat, which I will fix before we ship out. If anyone um, is interested in purchasing this, 
And it does also have feet on the bottom. And this is going to be number 19, our mint green Kate Spade tote, gold hardware, bright green interior. And this one is how much, Peter? Okay, we're doing, we're doing this one for $75. That's going to be number 19. And 20. All right, Robin. It's really cute. Even, like, just, like, to go out to the grocery or wherever. It's, like, a really cute bag. All the corners, too, are, like, in perfect condition. It's a really, really cute bag. Okay, 20 is next. And for number 20, we have this guy right here. This is a furla. This is a pink furla satchel. Oh, Michelle is calling number 19. Congratulations. Yay! Yay! Um, this is a pink furla satchel. It has gold hardware. Top handle, crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. We have the pink furla hardware here on the front. And there's a little snap underneath the top flap to release it. And it's in this really pretty, like, microfiber underneath there. And the interior lining is in the same color tan fabric. There's a zipper pocket, two open pockets, and this also does come with the dust bag as well. The inside is super clean and it's a beautiful, beautiful handbag. I love the silhouette of this one. This is a really good shape. And this is number 20, our light pink face style chat for the satchel with gold hardware. And this one is going to be Okay, we're going to do this one for $80, you guys. This is 80 This is going to be number 20 This one's in excellent condition. Comes with a dust bag. It's number 20 for $80. How's it going, Style Chat? Happy Thursday. Furla. She's a beauty. Oh, let me move this guy. Over here. Also, items from today um, they are going to start shipping next week. Okay, on Monday. I can't believe it's already Thursday. It's like already going to be the weekend. This month is already going by so quickly. I don't even know what's happening. I know exactly, Style Chat. It's crazy. I'm not, I'm literally not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I don't have anything ready. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, this is up next. And I have... Every day has felt like Monday this week. Can't wait till tomorrow. Oh, I know exactly how you feel, Robin. <laughs> It's just like, I don't know. I don't know what, like, this year has gone by the quickest from any year, like, ever in my entire life. I don't know how it's been, like, hap I don't know how it's happening. It's crazy. Um, For you guys up next, I have, this is an Alexander Wang black leather backpack. Leather straps. The under underside of the straps are in a canvas, which is nice, so that... The straps don't stretch out, so they're nice and sturdy. 
So there's silver hardware. There's a front zipper pocket right there. And then main compartment opens up. There's a laptop pocket in the back right there. And then a zipper pocket in the front. It's nice and clean on the inside and the out. It also does have some little feet on the bottom as well. And this is number 21. Our black Alexander Wang leather backpack with silver hardware. And this one is how much feet are you? Okay, we had this one at 130. We're gonna do a little discount and do 120. It's gonna be number 21. Next up is 22. What time is it? 316. I have to go to the post office. So I'm like keeping track of time. Okay, 22 is next. And for 22, I have this. Um, this is a little coach shoulder bag. It's in black leather with contrasting cream stitching. The original hand tag is right there. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can wear it like a little wristlet and move this little guy over here. And then you have a wristlet, which is great. Interior is nice and clean. It like, hold on, let me take this out. Yeah, it's nice and clean on the interior. No pen marks or anything. There's a zipper pocket inside of there as well, which is also super clean on the inside. Honestly, it looks like no one's ever used this bag. It looks like it's just been sitting in someone's closet. It's just a cute little shoulder bag. Such a good size. These, this size is like so popular right now too. Perfect size to throw your cell phone into. Your wallet will fit inside as well. And it's just like a cute little coach bag. Oh, Lady Badger's called 21. Congratulations, Lady Badger. I'm sorry I didn't see you there. Congratulations on the Okay, and then this is 22. This is our black coach shoulder bag. And this has silver hardware. And this one is... How much are we going for this guy? Okay, and this one is $40. Super cute. I'm sitting here, I'm like trying on all of my rings. I'm trying to see if I want to get rid of any of them, but I really like these. So I feel like I'm going to keep them for now. Still trying to decide though. hard to decide I might be willing to part with this one Tiffany's ring but I'm not sure because it is kind of cute it's the I love you ring um should I just get rid of this should I just let it go if anyone's interested where's my ring sizer thing I think this is a size 7 this is a size 7 um this is the next I'm just gonna do it I'm just going to do it. It's uh, This is a little Tiffany & Co. ring. It says sterling silver. And hold on. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It's going to be pretty hard to see. But it says I love you all around it. I know it just wants to focus. It just wants to focus on me instead. It says I love you on it, like all around. It's a size 7 sterling silver Tiffany & Co. ring. Um, it's just like a nice, it's just run on my pinky. Just right there. And it's a size 7. If anyone's interested, this is going to be number 23. Tiffany & 
Mexico, Sterling, Silver, I love you, Ring, size 7. And this one is how much favoring for this guy? Okay, we're gonna do this one for 120. It's in great shape. It's a beautiful little ring. Just says, I love you. Sterling, Silver, Tiffany & Co. And that's number 23. I feel like that's the only one I can like feel like. I like all the other rings a lot. Yeah. At least for now, I'm going to keep the rest of these. Okay, next up. Right, DG House? I also do have the little Tiffany & Co. Um, like the little, um, what is it? The little dust bag for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> Rob, yeah, I will include one. Actually, I have one right here next to me. I'll polish it up to make it look gorgeous for you before we send it out. But I'll give you one of my little Tiffany & Co. ones that I just got. Yeah, here's a little Tiffany & Co. dust bag, so that will go with it. Very exciting. Yay. Cute. All right. Congrats. That's actually going to be such a cute gift. I'm so excited. I love that. All right. 24 is next. And let's do... This is a Rothy's tote. It's in tan, black, and orange. It's the large Rothy's tote. It does zip across the top as well. There's one interior zipper inside. The straps are nice and long to carry on your shoulder. Exactly, Robin. Oh, I'm so excited. I love that. Uh, Rothy's tan black and orange tote and this is in really great shape i have literally literally used this for like months like every day and it's such a great bag it's spectacular i love a rothy's tote they're so well made and this is how much for for this bag okay this one is a 150 and that's number 24 And I think we might end. Should we end today at 25? It's like 3.30. Just enough time still for me to go to the post office. Um, let's end today with... What should we end today with? This is a little Mark Jacobs collection shoulder bag. This one's made in Italy. I believe the retail for this is probably over $750. It's really beautiful in this like glazed patent leather with silver hardware. The shoulder strap is removable. So you can just use this as a clutch or attach a longer strap to this if you wanted. And opens up. There's a... Compartment up top here. This actually goes all the way in, which is fantastic. <laughs> you guys want me to keep going? There's a zipper pocket inside of here, and then um, card slots built in as well. It also does come with all the original cards inside the little Mark Jacobs envelope there. And there we go. It's in, like, it's in like like new condition. It's beautiful. A great little evening bag. 
or even an everyday bag. I see a lot of people just carrying a clutch or just like a little shoulder thing, which is really cute. And this is going to be, how much paint is this one? This is our tan patent crinkle leather. <laughs> Kimberly, it's okay. Um, shoulder clutch bag with silver hardware. And this one we're going to do for $85. And this is going to be our last item for today. Um, I got to go to the post office. I don't want to be late. So um, this is our last item. And that's $85. Let me leave the link one more time for our giveaway. We're giving away uh, the Cole Haan clutch wristlet today. Throw it in the comments. And we're going to pick our winner just momentarily while I get everything situated. Here is that little wristlet. It's cute leather wristlet. Same Tanya. Have a great rest of your day, you guys. It's like still early, 326. I love it. Da, da, da. Okay. The kids are all running around right now. I think they all have water polo in a few hours. Today's water polo day. What's my favorite Christmas movie? I, you know, I just watched Krampus <laughs> the other day, which was pretty fun. Um, what else did I just watch recently? Uh, Elf is also really good, too, though. I do love Elf. And what's that, like, the Island of Misfit Toys movie? Is that what it's called? I like that movie, too. That was, like, one of my favorite, like, childhood movies okay we're gonna pick our winner in three two one do 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 our winner is uh, Cindy, Cinderella. Congratulations, Cindy. Your favorite movie is Home Alone and Miracle on 34th Street. Both excellent holiday movies. Congratulations, Cindy. Um, you are the winner of our little Cole Haan pouch. Yay! So cute. Uh, but thank you guys again. I know we had two lives today, so thank you for everyone joining that joined today and uh, we're at both lives. You can also still watch that last live as well. It was just the live haul of the things that I got in yesterday's thrifting video. Um, and if you guys enjoyed that video again, please just let me know if you guys like those. And I will definitely do more because it was fun um, doing that with you guys today. But I got to go. I'm going to go to the post office. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll be back again this Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. I'm not sure if I'll be back on Friday. Um, but for sure Saturday at 10 p.m. And I love you guys all so, so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Bon voyage. Arrivederci. Bye, Pauline. Tanya. Sister of a dad.